I love getting in. I don't, but I don't want to play ever again. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's just, there's there's one, and I, and I don't want to look bad, you know, talk bad on, on refs per se, right? But water polo is very subject to a referee's call, mm -hmm. which makes sense, right? It's two individuals that clearly think different, that have totally different backgrounds, and are going to make a decision based on what they believe, mm -hmm. right? Problem is, let's fast forward to me going playing now, masters or older, and it's like, well, that's Tony. He should be fine. And then the 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 players I play against are like, ooh, I want to prove myself against Tony. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I might have played three games when I was when I was officially done playing, and that's the only thing I disliked. And I really, I one of the reasons I stopped playing. I, I wanted to come home, be a dad, be home with you know with my kids, but it, it was really got to be frustrating. Where it was always like, yeah, I should be better than everyone else, instead of like, no, man, I gave my time. That guy shouldn't touch me. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> my mind. And yeah, I, yeah. I also think too, um, reputation plays a huge role because there's it's not like football where you have so many different players, but even then, that reputation plays a role in how a ref calls something. So like. And there's so many few officials in the United States in particular that you you develop a personal relationship with it. So they know you. They know if you like gave them a mean look after they made a call that you didn't agree with or or they see you and they're like, oh, yeah, you're the best. I'll let the other person play longer because they anticipate that you'll do more. So it's like in a way without realizing that there's some bias that can occur, especially in officiating, because these guys see the same players over and over and over again. And there was one particular ref in high school who drove me up a wall. Absolutely. And um, luckily, somehow, we managed to win state with him officiating. But he was, oh, oh, we did not like him. We did not like how he called the game. But luckily, the other official that was with him for the state championship was our favorite one because we felt like he knew the rule book the best. So you balanced it so out. So it balanced it out. But it was one of those things where it was just like almost every time we had that official, it felt like there was a bias against us. And I, I think, look, it, for, for people watching it for the first time, I think that's the two things that are confusing because it's not that difficult, right? I mean, it's I think it's more like basketball transition center right you're all go you're 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 moving together to try to get that goal it has that soccer feeling to it it's a lot of whistles though but the whistles are confusing mm -hmm. the whistles and, and whistles is just a foul which means nothing in water polo there's a million of them mm -hmm. so i think that's the first thing that a fan looks at and it's like i don't understand until you get by and realize the whistle is just gives them two seconds or three seconds to pass the ball that it doesn't mean anything and then the other one is, okay, you finally understand the rules, and then a referee calls something or doesn't call something, and that's when you as a fan are like, now I'm really confused, because you told me on the podcast that if they grab their head, it's an exclusion, mm -hmm. and he just did that, and they didn't call it, right? Wow. And that's where we have to do a better job in our, in our sport, but also that's where we have to understand these are two different individuals, one may be more inclined to allow head grabbing. <laughs> oh, I see. That, that's a bad example, I think, but one may mo be more inclined to allow you to play harder while one will kick you out if you touch the player. Which is also a thing in football, like leniency on pass interference versus not. Are the refs in the water? No. No. <laughs> is one in the water, one out? No. <laughs> well, then what do they know? They're not even swimming. I mean, I agree. Honestly, if you want me to badmouth anyone, I don't have any skin in the game. I'll, I'll, I'll smear their name all over the internet. I don't know. <laughs>